Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for the month of October 2020. Uh, this month, if you want to catch me live, I go live every single day at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. All you have to do is subscribe and hit the bell notification icon and you will catch me live. But Leo, let's see what is going on for you. Uh, this looks pretty good already. You have the world twice. That is awesome. You're the second sign that has had um, double tarot cards basically showing up in your reading. So I like to see that. Definitely focusing on re resting, relaxing. I feel like that's a great month to just rest, relax, do, you know, take care of yourself basically. And look, in the future, it looks like you're blasting off. So uh, this is a really nice reading for you here. Uh, probably not liking to rest is what I'm going to say to you. <laughs> Uh, we'll talk about that in a second, but uh, let's see what we have for you here. Leo, did I say Aries? Uh, I'm not sure. I feel like I said Aries. I just did Aries reading, so it's possible, but this is for you, Leo. So Leo, let's see what is going on for you. Your overall energy is this five of wands. Uh, so five of wands can represent being conflicted or feeling uh, chaos. Uh, for you, I feel like restless energy here. Two of wands, knight of wands. Knight of wands to me can represent restlessness or needing to put your energy into something here. And uh, you have the enlightenment card in this first row we're gonna talk about, but uh, you have the world twice, uh, which is a card of completion. So maybe some of you have completed something or maybe you've completed a cycle. And it's like the universe is asking you to take a rest with the four swords, but it's like you feel like you have to be doing something or maybe you feel like very restless at this time because you feel like you're not making progress or maybe you feel like you're not doing something here. It's like you're not taking action. But I feel like resting and relaxing is going to be very beneficial to you. So we'll talk about that in a minute. But you have this enlightenment card here. What are you being enlightened to? Uh, action. <laughs> what I say, I feel like in, in so many ways, I feel like this month is asking you to take a rest, but it's like you have the card of action here. So I feel like for some of you, you are being enlightened to actions that you need to take. But again, I feel like you won't be taking these actions until the future here with this Knight of Wands. So I do feel like you are kind of like needing to gain information. It's almost like hangman mode here with these two cards is what I feel for you, Leo. Uh, in this row, you have the Two Wands, the World, and the Six of Cups. Uh, for whatever reason, I feel like you need to go this way uh, in the reading. Two Wands is facing this way. Plus, uh, you, again, you have the Two Wands, the World, and the Six of Cups. For whatever reason, I feel like you could be thinking about the past or it's like you're questioning whether or not something is dead, done, and over with here. Um, I'm really surprised that like the Ten of Swords didn't show up in your reading because this to me feels like something is over, but it's like you keep, it's some of you could still be looking back to the past. I actually feel like this is a good thing. Like not, it, I'm, I don't even think this is a relationship. It's like maybe you have solved the major problem in your life, but it's like you keep looking at it with this Two of Wands. So I feel like that is saying do not call attention two things that were problems in the past. It's like, it's, it's it's done, it's over with, like move on. So I feel like some of you need to move on from some sort of challenge here. You have two sixes here, which is nice. Uh, I like, you have the six of cups and the six of pentacles. I love two sixes in readings because to me it says that you're like on the right path, you're going in the right direction. So I feel like you're heading towards success, I like that. But I do feel that for some of you, this is saying let go of the past. For others, I feel like you have the whole world in your hands and I feel like you need to realize that with this two of wands, he has the whole world in his hands there, but he's also just kind of like standing there and he needs to realize that he has to leave a comfort zone. There's a village on the back of the card here. And it kind of says like, yeah, he has a whole world in his hands. He's starting to take the lead, grabbing that front wand, but it's also like he needs to leave a comfort zone. He needs to move away from his village. And you have the world twice here. So the world to me can represent a birthing process. To me, the world says something has completed, something has ended, a cycle has come to a close, but it's kind of like time to start a new cycle for you in your life. I really feel like for whatever reason, I feel like this first row is saying let go of everything from the past. I feel like you need to realize that your life has changed. Um, you have the world again here in this uh, middle position here, whatever you want to call it in this row. So again, I feel like definitely you have done good work. I feel like you've done everything you need to do. Yeah, look, you have this horse card. This horse card in this deck is literally about needing to realize that you've done the work and it's a card of freedom as well. Needing to realize that you're in a much more free place than maybe you have ever experienced in the past. Uh, you have the three of pentacles, four swords, queen of pentacles, in this row. Part of me feels like saying to you, Leo, that you need to realize that like uh, things, life can be easy is what I feel like saying here. Um, you have this uh, four swords. There's this stained glass window right here, Leo. And that stained glass window, in there is a picture 
of someone who is on their knees and they are receiving blessings from a person who is standing above them. But I feel like this is saying that maybe things, you know, you have the three of pentacles here. It's like you've built something of quality in your life, could be anything, but I feel like things have been very difficult for you. I feel like things have not come easy to you, Leo. So I feel in a lot of ways, this this part of the reading, this first, these first two rows here, I feel like they're saying that you have always had to work very, very hard to get the things that you desire in your life. But I feel like this Four of Swords is saying it doesn't have to be that way. I feel like it's saying things can now be easy. And the Three of Pentacles says, number one, you can ask for help. People can help you on projects, businesses, uh, relationships, whatever it is that you're on. Things can be easy. And the Queen of Pentacles says you have the resources necessary to make things easy. But really, I feel like this Four of Swords is saying, you know, it's time for a rest. It's time for a break. And it's time to like allow the universe uh, to bring things to you this month. In the last row here, you have the uh, message in a bottle card. Uh, I like this card. Could be positive communication coming in for you with the message in a bottle card. You have the Fool, the uh, Knight of Wands, and the Six of Pentacles in this row. I feel like you're ready to take some sort of leap of faith here. It's like you're over-prepared for something as well. The Knight of Wands is your desires. I feel like there is something that you desire to have or there is something that you have desired to have for a very long period of time. And I feel like you need to take a leap of faith towards it. For others, I do feel like this could be an earth sign coming in for you in love. It feels like a new person is what I would say to you here. So I do feel like this could be new love. I feel like for whatever reason, it's going to start off very slow. You have, you have this chaos and conflict card. I'm going to pull you an extra route here, Leo, because I want to because I'm nosy is what it boils down to. So I want to see what goes on here. But uh, you have the Nine of Pentacles here. You have the Eight of Cups. And you have the Five of Wands twice. So I definitely feel like there could be conflict here. You know what, you know what I think this is? I feel like that for some of you, there could be new love coming in. I feel like this person could be very independent. Like I almost feel like you want more of a connection with this person. But for whatever reason, I feel like this month, there there could be some distance between you and a person. For some of you, I feel like you're in this relationship right now. I feel like the I feel like the conflict with the Five of Wands twice is just saying that maybe this person is very busy with the Nine of Pentacles. Maybe they got a lot going on. So it's like you're not getting as much time as you would like in this situation. I do feel like that will change in the future. And again, we're going to clarify this in just a minute with the, the Lenormand. But uh, that's what I feel there. For others, I feel like you're choosing to walk away from something here. Definitely major complaint completion energy here, Leo. Uh, I actually like this Eight of Cups energy. It's weird because um, the Eight of Cups has been showing up a lot recently. And the Eight of Cups to me represents kind of making a sacrifice. Sacrifice isn't really the right word. But this guy here on the Eight of Cups, he is choosing to walk away from those Eight Cups. He is he is saying those Eight Cups don't suit, uh, you know, kind of don't fulfill me anymore. And he is choosing to walk through a period of darkness. Um, so he is he's choosing to walk through a period of time where he knows he might be experiencing some chaos and conflict, but that's the sacrifice that he's making. He's saying like, okay, I know I'm gonna have to walk through a period of time that could be a little challenging, or I know I might have to walk through a period of time where I'm restricted in some way, but I'm walking towards the Nine of Cups. I'm walking towards something better. So I feel... For some of you, you could be doing that. But uh, let's clarify this reading and let's see what we have for you here, Leo. And uh, let me just get a good shuffle on this here, Leo, and let's see what comes up. Uh, between the Two Wands and the Three of Pentacles, you have the Three of Clubs. Uh, card of second chances here, Leo. So I feel like for some of you, you could be getting a second chance at something work or business-wise, maybe something that didn't work out the first time. Between the world and the Four of Swords, you have the Ten of Spades. This card is called the Ship. It's like a boat on the ocean. So some of you could be moving. Again, world twice. Definitely some of you could be hoping to move or travel. You have the Fool, the Knight of Wands. I mean, these are all cards of travel and moving. Obviously, you know, this reading could say also that maybe that some of your plans are falling through as far as moving or traveling is concerned. But what I would say is that probably in the future, if you have a plan to move or travel that falls through, I feel like it'll probably go through in the future. Uh, between the Six of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles, you have the Three of Spades here. For some of you, I'm just getting healing. Um, so I feel like for some of you, either you're trying to heal or you're hoping for healing energy here. So I feel like some of you are hoping to heal from a situation with that Three of Swords, but it's like a personal, you know, I feel like it's literally about your health. And again, I'm not a doctor, so do not take this as medical advice, but I feel like you're healing. For others, I feel like you're thinking about a past breakup here. 
but uh, really, um, yeah, four swords. I feel like uh, four spades. I feel like you're healing from something from the past. Four spades card recovery. Uh, very similar to the four swords here. Between the three of pentacles and the fool, you have that four of spades. It's like you've healed and you're ready to move on to something new. So in a lot of ways, I feel like you probably are just getting ready to move on to a new relationship if you were recently hurt in the past. Uh, between the four of swords here and the net of wands, you have the six of hearts. Love it. Um, this to me, see this to me here. This reading almost looks to me like a second chance at something you desire. Uh, the Knight of Wands is your desires, but the Knight of Wands represents mysteries. There are these three pyramids down here, uh, and that kind of represents mystery. So for some of you, maybe you're like, I want to be a pilot or something like that, but maybe you don't know how to go about doing that, right? So the Six of Hearts comes in, and it is a turnaround. It represents obstacles being removed from our life. So for some of you, you could be understanding or figuring out how to do something that seems kind of mysterious or seems kind of impossible to do. So love it. Between the Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles, you have the Jack of Clubs here. Jack of Clubs just says, don't beat yourself up over taking a break. Again, I get this restless energy here. Five of Wands, Chaos and Conflict, Five of Wands. To me, this can say, it's okay to take a break. It's okay <laughs> to not to not have to be busy all the time, right? So I feel like for some of you, I get this like very you know restless energy and I feel like it's saying, it's okay to just take a break. I feel like sometimes we just need a break, right? So uh, maybe you just need to rest and relax this month, like I said. Uh, between the Fool and the Nine of Pentacles, you have the Nine of Diamonds. Uh, Nine of Diamonds is called the Coffin. Definitely some sort of change, a new beginning for you financially. Love it. Uh, I feel like there could be a lot of abundance and success coming in for you there. Uh, between the... Um, sorry, this deck is not cooperating today. Uh, between the Knight of Wands here and the Eight of Cups, you have the King of Hearts here. King of Hearts is called the home and definitely could represent a move. It's also a card of like safety, security, comfort, protection. So a lot of you could be like moving towards those feelings. Uh, could be new love coming in for you. Uh, between the Six of Pentacles and the Five of Wands, you have the Seven, seven of Diamonds here. I feel like <coughs> I'm choking. And uh, the Seven of Diamonds is a card of communication and I can't speak right now. So I'm wondering... If someone is wanting to communicate with you from the past here with the Six of Cups in the same row. <coughs> Excuse me, Leo. So I'm wondering if someone, there was a breakup, I feel like they've been beating themselves up and they could be trying to communicate with you uh, with that Seven of Diamonds. So that is pretty interesting. It definitely looks like something, you know, again, for some of you, this could have been a breakup where it looked very solid. It feel, I feel like it looked very much like it could have been something permanent, but it's like there was a death with that Nine of Diamonds. For the most part, I feel like you would be leaving this behind, uh, not moving towards it. Yeah, it caused too many burdens in your life. So for some of you, definitely could be, you know, this reading could just be saying you're choosing to have a new beginning uh, because something was a burden, you know, a person. So I feel like for some of you, you're letting go of a past person. It's popping into my head as either a water sign or an earth sign that you're, you are letting go of. Next, you have the five of diamonds. Just do it. Five of diamonds to me is like the fool in the playing card reading system. I feel like there's just a new beginning coming in for you. I feel like you're taking a leap of faith at this time. And bottom row, you have the eight of clubs. This is called the mountain. The mountain represents kind of like taking the road less traveled. Um, it kind of represents doing something that you've never done before. But I feel like this is in the future. Maybe this is why you are feeling restless. Um, really, um, you know, I feel like this reading is kind of boring. <laughs> Leo, why? Why is it boring? I don't know. But I feel for some of you, yeah, you have this new life card. It's like you're getting ready for new life, but it's like it's not here yet. That's the challenge right here, right? The two fives, you know? I feel like for some of you, that two wands is saying you're actually looking into the future as well. And I feel like you you know that there's something new that maybe you want to start. Maybe you see someone that you want to start a relationship with. Maybe you see a new business you want to start or something that will be a new life. But it's like this four of swords is just asking you to be patient this month for whatever reason. I, I hate the word patience. I'm a Pisces. I can't stand it, right? I'm like the least patient person I know. So Leo, I totally get it, like not wanting to wait and everything like that. But I feel like saying there's like information that you need in this middle row. 
So if you have your eyes set on a new life, if you have your eyes set on moving, on starting a new relationship, or whatever, it's like there's missing information. This is why things are not moving forward as quickly as you would like. King of Wands here, you, your energy. So I feel like for some of you, you're in a very strong position. Look, <laughs> You can't make this stuff up, Leo. Look at Lion. Are you kidding me? Your energy taking the lead here in the Oyster. Yeah, see, the Oyster is a card of hidden information. The Oyster is closed, but the Oyster also represents hidden treasure um, in this deck. You know, the Oyster, there's a, there are pearls inside of oysters, but it's like they're hidden behind something. So I feel like this is um, a very annoying timing reading is what I'm going to say to you, Leo, where it's like just the timing is not right yet. I do feel like this month could be a little bit more withdrawn. You could be kind of like spending some time on your own. So what would be the best thing for you to do to take advantage of this energy? Uh, not go round and round. So I feel like you need to not do this right here. I feel like what you need to do is this right here. Fulfillment. Do things that fulfill you. I feel like you need to do things that you enjoy. Maybe you enjoy going hiking. Maybe you enjoy doing things like um, hobbies or uh, maybe you have certain hobbies that you enjoy. Maybe you have uh, maybe like going for rides in the car. I don't care what it is. I feel like you just need to do something or do things that you are feeling fulfilled. The Knight of Wands would also be a really good card for learning. So again, if you're feeling restless, if you're picturing something in the future that you can't have right now, which you will have in the future, this pretty much guarantees it. Again, eight of clubs, road less traveled. I feel like you could also be learning. I feel like it would be a good idea. Five of wands, don't waste the five of wands either, Leo, is what I'd say to you. Five of wands to me is, is a card of chaos and conflict, but those they are learning. You know, these people here, they are training. It's like they're fighting, yes, but they're actually training. They are learning how to fight. So I feel like for some of you, this is just saying something you want in your life is coming. It's on the way. And um, the Five of Wands just says, use this time to learn through the chaos and the conflict. Um, it's also part of immature energy. I, I just really feel like saying something isn't ready yet this month. And so I do feel like it is a pause month for you here, Leo. And um, that's that. Um, but other than that, like, I don't think anything crazy is going on. So I kind of like it, even though this is kind of like a, an annoying reading <laughs> is what I'm going to say to you. But uh, anyway, thank you, Leo. Really appreciate it. And we're, we're going to see what comes up in the middle of the month as well. So I will be doing mid-month readings. Hopefully things will change for you. I don't like I said, I don't think it's a bad month. I feel like it's just slow. So um, thank you and enjoy your month.